Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we have implemented this model pop-up window. In this video, we will learn how to add form fields in our model. Here, we have to add one text box to allow the user to enter the department name. Then, we will add one save button. On click of the button, we can insert department name into our SQL table. In Visual Studio Code Editor, okay, here, model body inside this div we have to add form fields okay before that let me create one function here that is a handle summit event your event dot prevent default Then we'll show the alert box even dot target department name value. Here, whatever uh, we entered in this text box, we will show the alert box with the uh, text. Okay. So with this function. We can show the enter department name in alert box. Now let's add form fields here. Just remove this text here. Then I want to move this div from here. Okay. Now let's add row here. We'll have column size will be six. Inside this call, we have form on submit. This dot handle summit. So here we call this function which we have created here handle summit to show the alert box or on form summit of this form. Okay, next we'll have form group. Form group control ID department name. Next, we have to show the label also. So, form dot label label text will be department name. Then we have to show the form control that is text box, right? So we will use this form dot control. It is a self closing tag. The type will be text. User can enter text. Next name name of the text box will be department name this name we are using here to show the alert box so here in this alert box we are showing the value of the text box the department name next uh, this is a mandatory field right so we will use this required keyword then placeholder placeholder will be department name Okay, that's it. Let's check it. Okay, see here we have the department name label and the department name text box. Now let's add one save button here. So let me add one more form group.
inside this we'll have a button your variant variant means or uh, that button color primary primary means it will display in blue color then type button type will be submit okay we have closed the form group form then column row okay that's it save this let's check it in browser so we have to give the button text so we type submit okay button text will be save we have the text here okay if i enter something then click save here we have the alert box that displaying the value of this text box which we entered here okay uh, in our next video we will send this uh, text box value to our api post method to insert data into sql table thanks to everyone see you there in next video